Hi, my name is Dong and I'm an animator. And as an active professional in the Japanese animation industry, I'm always interested in learning new things about the animation process and I am always looking for ways to further refine the animation workflow. In Japan, we have a word, Kaizen, the philosophy of continual improvement. And I want to apply that to my industry. Over the past year, I have been volunteering my time to a project with the aim of assisting the 2D animator with the in-between process, also called Doga in Japan. And today, I would like to show off some of our work in progress. This is very early in the project and almost everything can and probably will change. Stay till the end if you want to try this tool out for yourself. The in-betweening process is the most time-consuming part of animation production where an artist draws out all the intermediate drawings between two keys, requiring an extreme amount of man-hours done with artists who are often junior. On average, a 20-minute TV episode can have anywhere between 4,000 to 8,000 drawings that have to be drawn by the in-between artists. A drawing can take anywhere between 10 minutes to an hour, and a drawing generally pays between $2 to $4 or so. Using this tool, animators can quickly correct a rough in-between drawing from the program instead of having to manually draw every single line from scratch, drastically decreasing the amount of effort needed. In a recent study, professional animators using this tool were able to draw up to four times faster. And I, who have not been professionally trained in in-betweening, saw a significant decrease in the time that it took me to draw an in-between with this tool. For demonstration, here are the key drawings for a quick piece of animation. Simple, just two poses and about three in-between drawings between the two key poses at the half, three-quarter, and seven-eighths position. I've done a quick manual cleanup of the keys. I did this in OpenTunes, but you may choose to create the cleaned keys in the software of your choice. As long as it's in a supported format, we can use it. Usually, this is the step where we send stuff off to be in between, but here is where our tool comes in handy. I have these two drawings saved as target files, which is the format we will be using in the industry, and we will bring these into the tool. We indicate which drawing is the first and which is the last drawing. Looking back at the rough animation, let's take the spacing here from the spacing chart and import it into the tool. Here are a bunch of common presets that I often see animators use, but there is also the option to use a custom timing. For the sake of demonstration, I will have the tool generate a drawing at the half position only. Then we let the tool process our inputs. We can then bring the rough drawing into the workspace. This allows us to edit the drawing. While the tool can guess some of what the in-between will look like, it is not perfect. Looking at the rough in-between drawing, we can see that the tips of a character's hair and the details of the eyes need correction, and there are other locations that need a touch-up. The app is constantly being improved, so we hope to get more accurate drawings as we go into the future. While the tool can save us some time, manual effort is still needed by the artist to fix and repair the rough result and get the drawing to a professional standard. The tool has standard features such as onion skin and peg, shift, and trace, as well as the option to work in either vector or raster depending on the artist. For me, I find that working in a vector workflow and adjusting the points to the line is a relatively quick procedure. I am sure that some artists prefer to draw in raster, and the option is there for you. I'll be taking some time to come over the drawing and adjust anything that doesn't look right. As I make my corrections, I will use the onion skin tool to make sure everything is centered properly. Using a combination of the move tool and as well as drawing new lines when needed, I can make short work of this drawing. This feels like checking the work of a junior artist and actually drawing it in between. To finish, I can export this, which will automatically rasterize the image and put it in a production-ready format. Pretty good result, eh? 
We can repeat this for the rest of the needed in-between drawings. And here it is with our drawing finished. I can do a quick pencil test for you all to see it in motion. Nice. With our in-between process done, we can move on to coloring, but that is a topic for another time. So drawing those three in-between drawings using our tool allowed me to finish in around 20 minutes or so. I haven't been professionally trained in cleanup and in-betweening, but I know without this tool, it might have taken over double the time. Hopefully, in the future, this tool can be improved and be useful to artists in the industry. But as of now, it is merely a proof of concept, an early test if you will. There are still many kinks to work out, and there are also just straight up many types of scenes and drawings that will not work with this tool as of now like complicated hatchers in perspective and hand movements that layer on top of each other. We're still figuring things out. If you would like to try out this tool, give us a contact at the link below. If you're a freelance artist who think this tool can help you with your workflow, reach out. If you are an indie animator who wants to use this tool for your project, reach out. If you are a large studio, reach out. And if you think you can contribute to this project in any way, reach out. Let us know a bit above your background or experience and features you would like to see. This is very early in development and this is a super early pre-alpha build. There will be more updates and information to come, so stay tuned. Thanks everyone, more regular content to come. This channel is supported by my patron members. And if you would like to help keep this channel running, links are down below. Patron members get access to some unique content every month, including behind the scenes look at my work and Patreon exclusive videos. Other than that, check out my social media and I'll see you next time for our regularly scheduled content. Mm -hmm.